Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Happy Friday. I am recording this on Thursday night, the 26th of September. The wind and rain just picked up here where I live at. Um, I was looking at the radar and I see a lot of rain in the Carolinas, Georgia, Tennessee, even before the hurricane heads that way. So I hope that you guys don't have a lot of flooding to deal with after all of this is over. Um, just know that I am thinking about you guys and praying for you, especially um, the coastal areas um, in the Panhandle area near Perry, Florida. Um, the storm surge is going to be significant. So I hope you guys are all safe and have minimal damage from Hurricane Helene. As of right now, um, Things are pretty normal here. It, the wind has picked up and it's raining, but I think we'll know better tomorrow how things are going to be looking as far as damage. I think it's supposed to like make landfall tonight, overnight. So, so this week, um, Brian and I are both going to be getting paid. This is the last week in September for us, and it's going to be the 26th of September through October 2nd. So for Brian, we're expecting $1,100. For me, $1,500. And our rollover from last week was $326.17. So all of this adds up to be $2,926.17. So for bills this week, we're gonna have to pay our solar panels looks like I'm running out of black ink. I need to change the black in my printer. Our solar panels. $225.19 is our solar panel payment. Our next gen subscription service is going to come out for $20. We're going to tithe $50. And our Wells Fargo credit card payment is going to come out for $25. And I think that's it as far as the bills right here go. So let's add these up. $225.19, $20, $25, $25, $25, $25. So that's $320.19. And we'll subtract that from the income of $29.26.17. And that'll leave $2,605.98. Next, we will bump down to our variable spending. So for groceries, I'm going to budget $300. Even if we spend $300, we'll be under budget for the month. So that is great because last month we were over budget. So if something crazy happens and I need to spend, it looks like I could spend three, $348 and be on budget for groceries. So that's great considering we even had that um, Sam's Club haul this month. So um, cars, we're going to do $130. For kids, we're going to do 15 for their allowance. Household, 20 This is the amount we usually budget for chlorine, but I'm not going to get any chlorine, so we'll probably end up spending a little more in household, honestly, if I go ahead and get those um, pool pillows to cover the pool with. I went to brush the pool yesterday. It had some algae in the bottom of it, and the brush that we have is completely like dry rotted. Like all the little plastic bristles on the brush just started floating in the water because they were just falling out of the bristle brush head for because um, it's been sitting on our deck. And I guess the sun has just deteriorated it, so I need to get a new one of those. But I'm debating if I should do that now or just wait until pool startup in the spring, um, but I do know next year that I need to make sure I put, I want to get like a pool, like a sun cast or some kind of tall rectangular 
cabinet that I can put outside near the pool that I can keep like pool supplies in so I don't have to go into our garage and get them because it deters me from putting things away like the vacuum and the brush um, so it would be nice to be able to put those things closer to the pool so I have quick access to them when I feel like cleaning the pool so I will budget for that for next year though for homestead we're going to do um, $55. We don't have the turkeys anymore, but we do have to get pig feed and chicken feed. Hopefully, um, within the next week, I'll be reaching out to that guy who came and got um, the first two turkeys we gave away to see if he's still interested in coming to help Brian process the pigs that we have so that we can um, eat them, like put them in our freezer or whatever. He has all the tools and instruments to do that. He offered to help us, so... I will see if he's still interested in doing that for us. For medical, we're going to do $110. Um, I did have my appointment with my nephrologist today. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so tell me why the doctor said that they didn't have my ultrasound results from an imaging place. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't work in a medical office, so I could be wrong in this. But isn't part of making sure you have what you need for the week regarding your patients is checking to see if you have like the results from blood work, the results from ultrasounds. Like why is my appointment today and you're looking for the results today and telling me you didn't get them. I got my imaging done on September 11th and they told me it would take 24 to 48 hours for it to be sent. Okay, sorry you guys. No lie, in the middle of me talking about my doctor's appointment, I got an emergency alert on my phone that there was a tornado warning in our area and to take immediate shelter. So I had to stop the video and we all went into the pantry, which is our storm space. And fortunately our kids have like foam mattresses. So we grabbed the twin size mattress out of Carter's room and brought it in there and put it on top of the deep freezer and sheltered in place for like 10 minutes so <laughs> we're fine everything's fine but that was very scary and we got our tornado practice in for this storm so yeah and I my heart was racing like 100 miles per hour yes Bryson's heart was racing I think all of our hearts were racing even though some people wanted to be extra brave and say that they weren't scared but I was petrified my brother was scared <laughs> so what I was saying was the doctor um, didn't have my results for my ultrasound. He said all my blood work was normal, but he's got to have one of the medical assistants or office ladies reach out to the imaging center and get my ultrasound results because they hadn't gotten them. So they're going to call me and let me know what those were. My blood, my blood pressure today was normal, but I am on like a 25 milligram blood pressure medication. Um, so, I mean, I guess it's good that the that my blood pressure is normal with that small dose of medication. But I was pretty um, bummed out that he didn't have my ultrasound results and was just now realizing he didn't have my ultrasound results. It seemed like he was unprepared and I'm not sure if that's normal or not, that doctors don't like prep ahead of time for appointments that they have during the week, making sure that they have everything they need to like complete the appointment or whatever. So um, I did go and I had a $40 copay. Carter had to go to the heart doctor today. Everything looked good as far as his um, EKG and his ultrasound of his heart. They did give him a 24 hour Holter monitor so he'll wear that all day today, Thursday, and then um, up until, I guess, his appointment time tomorrow um, to be a full 24 hours, and then we'll return it. Um, and then um, the $30 dental bill that we got after our COBRA covered the rest of the dental bill, we're going to go ahead and pay that $30 too. So a total of $110 for the medical category. Um, for eating out, we are going to go out to eat. We're going to go to Zaxby's per my son's request. 
So we're going to put $50 in the eating out category. We're not planning on anything for our blow money, clothes are unbudgeted. So let's add all of this up really quick. Three hundred, oh, one thirty, fifteen, twenty, fifty five, one ten, and fifty is six eighty. Subtract that from our leftover amount of twenty six oh five ninety eight, and that leaves nineteen twenty five ninety eight. Okay, over here on the sinking fund side, um, let me write the leftover 1925.98. So for our emergency fund, we're going to add $10. Christmas, we're going to add 100. Homestead, we're going to add 10. Household, we are going to add 10. Clothes, we're going to add 10. Property taxes, we're going to add 110. Car insurance, we're going to add 140. Kids is going to get 10. Cars is going to get 10. And vacation is going to get 10. So let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 70 tens plus 100 plus 110 plus 140 is 420. And we'll subtract that from 19, 25, 98. And that will leave 15, 05, 98. So we do have to pay our car notes this week. Brian's car note is $724.56 and mine is $696.30. Not making a student loan payment. $724.56 and $696.30 is $1420. With 86 cents. Subtract that from 1505.98 and that will leave $85.12. Then we have some extra sinking funds here that wouldn't fit up here in the sinking funds category. So, subscriptions, we're just going to add 10. Um, Brian and Stephanie, we're not going to add anything. And then medical, we're going to add 75 because I did get a bill from the specialist that Caleb went to go see about his extra tooth. It is like $200, so... That would be $85, and then if we subtract that from our remainder, then that would leave us $0.12 cents to roll over into um, October. I had to think about what month it was. Um, that would be $0.12 cents will roll over into October. So I anticipate some of our variables not coming out as planned. They don't usually come out as planned, so we'll see what we actually end up having to roll over for October. But for now, that's going to be all. Thank you guys so much for watching this budget with me for the last week of September. If you're not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You guys stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.